Let's do some on hauling. Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mooney Reads, where I talk about books and things. <laughs> that was hard to get out. Um, uh, what do I say now? Well, good morning to you if you're watching this in the morning. I'm definitely filming it in the morning. I had a great night last night where I couldn't go to bed until 4 in the morning and I almost finished If We Were None by Agatha Christie. That was probably why I couldn't sleep, but anyway. Um, let's talk about on hauling. So, what is on hauling? On hauling is basically getting rid of things that you no longer want in your life. And on hauling books is something that I never like thought about too much. Like it was fine for me until I was on a book buying ban. And now I'm like, wait, if I unhaul that book, what am I gonna read? And then I forget that I have like 10,000 books on my Kindle. You know, we're gonna get through that. So. We're gonna talk about the books that I'm on hauling. I'm on hauling, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. Look at that, ten books. Some of them are popular, some of them you've never heard of. Let me show you. The first four books I have to show you are books that I might not necessarily on haul, but that are going into my possible on haul pile. Let me explain this to you. These books, I don't necessarily have a big desire to get rid of but I also have no big desire to read them so they're kind of on this limbo state where I'm gonna put them behind this thing if I really want to reach for them then I'm gonna reach for them if I don't then that means that within six months these books are gonna get on hold and I'm gonna show you what they are the first one hurts my heart a little bit, and that, that is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. The thing with this book is, I feel this is kind of that book that is going to hurt me very much. And right now, I don't feel like getting hurt that much. Like, I just, I'm terrified of reading this book. That's the reality. I'm so terrified of reading it that every time I look at it, it just kind of gives me fear. Because I'm scared that when I read it, I'm just going to be like bawling on the floor crying. So I don't want to get rid of it because I think it's a good story. I want to get rid of it because I'm terrified of it. Does that make any sense? I don't know if that makes sense. But every time I see it on my TBR shelf, it just makes me feel guilty that I'm not reading this book. Does anybody get that? Does anybody get guilty for not reading their TBR? So I am going to just put that there so I don't have to look at it and if I ever get that desire to read it I can but for now it's just going off of my TBR shelf the next one might not hurt anyone I was gonna say it might hurt a few people because it's a Brandon Sanderson but I have not heard a single person say anything positive about this book and that is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson I love this cover I think this book speaks to me it's a sci-fi it's a sanderson but then all i hear is negative things about this book and why would i want to spend my time reading 400 pages it's not even that long but still that is about two days of my life reading this book if it's not gonna be any good that doesn't make sense and also it's a series if it was a standalone, I'd be more willing to give it more of a chance, but because it's a series and also the way that it's like the, the synopsis is, it reminds me so much of Renegades and you guys know I fucking hate Renegades. It's the worst book that I've hate that I've hated. Well, that I hate it, yes, and that I've read this year. So I just don't feel like having this in my TBR because again, I already feel like I want to read the Mistborn trilogy and then I see this and it's like why are you there I should have done my research before I bought you so this is again going back there if I ever feel like picking it up I have a feeling you're gonna see this in the future on haul though all right this book I have already read and I just don't know like I was thinking if we were to move tomorrow do I want to bring this book with me and the answer was I don't think so. And that is Bring It On Fire by Susanna Cahalan. I enjoyed this book very much. I actually want to buy her new book. But I'm never going to reread this. This was a tough read for me. And also, I just... 
am not interested anymore. It was good for what it was, but it's not a book that I see myself recommending to you. It's not a book that I want to hold up in videos. And it's just meh. But I have such a little non-fiction section that I just kind of feel bad. So again, if I don't want to reread this or if I kind of forget about it in six months, it's going into the donate pile. The next one, I've had this book for I think two years now and every time I see it, I'm like, I don't really want to read that. But then I'm like, oh, but I do. Then I, when I flip through it, I do. And that is Pen Pal by Dathan Oberbach. I have no idea what this book is about. It's supposed to be creepy, it's supposed to be like scary, but do I have any desire to read it? If I don't pick it up this Halloween season, it's going in the donate pile. It just, I don't know, I have no feelings toward it. Like I always, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna unhaul it. And then I like look through it and then I read the back and um, I kind of want to read it, but I kind of don't. So again, it's going back here, and if I don't pick it up this Halloween season, it's going away. It's leaving my life. The next book is a book that I've already read, and I finally decided to get rid of it, and that is Tudor, The Family History by Leanda DeLeo. I am keeping, well, I was keeping this book around, because it makes me look interesting because it's like oh I read this book about history and I am so intelligent and and I, I am so knowledgeable and the truth is I basically finished this book at 3.5 speed because I couldn't stand it like that's the reality and I and I didn't want that because I wanted when I read this, I was so excited for it and I wanted it to be something that it's not where I wanted it to be more focused on the tutors that I like and this is just, this was like reading a textbook for me. It put me in the biggest slump, so why the hell would I keep it, you know? I was keeping it because it looked good. Again, I have such a small non-fiction shelf but then I looked at the non-fiction books that I do have now and I'm like yes I would keep those and then I looked at this one and every time I look at it I just think ugh I didn't like that book so this is officially going to start us off with the books that I'm donating to my library okay the next two I don't think are gonna hurt anyone because they're just Spanish books they're um by El Mariscal de las Tinieblas by Juan Antonio Cebrián. This is about Bluebeard. And I think this is supposed to be historical, but I think the author took a lot of liberties because it's got like love affairs with Joan of Arc and I'm never gonna read this. And if I do, I can just get it from the library because this is a Spanish book, so I'm just gonna donate it. And the other one is the Profane Abbey by Montserrat Rico Gongora. This is just Indiana Jones. This is just Indiana Jones. It's about Nazis and finding the Holy Grail. I just... I kept it because it looks like fun, but the reality is this is not my style of book. I just don't want to read this and it's taking up shelf space and taking up mental space and I and, it, and making me feel bad. So, no, I'm not keeping you. We're, we're, we're breaking up. Bye bye. Book about Nazis and the Holy Grail. All right, the next three books that I'm on hauling kind of hurt, but I have to be realistic with myself and admit that I just don't want to read these books. The first one hurts my soul and my heart and everything, but I just don't want to read it, and that is the weight of the sty the weight of the stars by K Ingram. I was so excited for this book. I really wanted to read it. It's sci-fi. It's by a BIPOC author. But it reads so YA. And you guys know that I don't like when things read way too much like YA. Like the characters feel like the problem here is that the characters do feel like they're 16 year olds and I don't enjoy reading from the perspective of a 16 year old. 
So, with that being said, I, it just hurts my heart so much. I might actually put this back here because I, if I found this in audio format, I would read it. But I don't feel like reading it in physical. I actually tried. Look, there's a bookmark in there. But I just couldn't stand the YA-ness of it all. So, and again, oh god, I always sound like such a YA hater. I just don't like YA. I don't hate YA. I just don't like YA. So, yeah, this is, oh, this is hard. Yeah, I'm going to put it back here. And if I get the inkling of picking it up within the next three months, six months, I won't unhaul it. But my gut tells me that I do have to unhaul this book. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for that one. The next one I actually am really glad to get out of my life. And that is Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo. Um, I bought this book as a joke. I bought it because I was going to hate read it. And then I realized that I don't want to hate read books. And recently Thomas at SFF 180, I'll link his review up here, reviewed it. And it was exactly what I was expecting. And I don't want to read it. <laughs> like, I don't want to spend my time reading a book that I'm not going to like. So I'm just going to unhaul it and maybe somebody out there will enjoy it and will uh, read it. So. And the last book I have to unhaul is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein by Kristen White. I was so excited for this book because the person that I used to watch for book recommendations loves this book. And then I realized that every time I bought a book this person recommended, even though I love their videos, I didn't like their recommendations. Their reading taste is completely different from mine. And also, I fucking hate Frankenstein. You guys know this. I don't like the original Frankenstein. So what would possess me to read a book <laughs> based on Frankenstein? I don't want to. And I just don't know. It doesn't sound like something that I would enjoy. So I'm just gonna pass it along to somebody that will enjoy it. That's pretty much it. Just a soft, simple on haul. Uh, as I said, some of these books are not going directly to be on haul. They're just not going to be taking up space in my TBR shelf. I just... Sometimes you gotta let go of things because, again, seeing these books brought me more stress than it brought me joy. So why the hell would I keep them? And I don't know if you noticed, but only one of them is sci-fi and is soft sci-fi. And only one of them is like horror. So I just gotta remember to stick to my horror and sci-fi agenda and we'll be fine. I just have to stop buying books that are not within that genre. Oh well no, Steelheart is also sci-fi. Alas, I just, I, there is a certain kind of sci-fi that I like and I wasn't buying books in that genre and I and and I want horror and I want sci-fi and I just wasn't doing that and some dark academia that would be great that's what I'm sticking to horror sci-fi dark academia there you go so anyway um I hope you guys enjoyed like this kind of rambly on haul I um I'm gonna be honest I'm having a really hard time with headaches le lately I just constantly have migraines I don't know what's going on I don't know what changed in my diet maybe it's because I'm getting back to work and my body is getting acclimated again so um that is my excuse for this video being crazy <laughs> and also my cat has been in the litter box three times she doesn't do anything she just does that she moves the litter around because she's a little bitch anyway with my cat in the background i'm gonna bid you adieu and i will remind you that i post videos every mondays wednesdays and fridays and thank you so much for watching thank you for being here thank you for putting up with my cat and i will see you in another galaxy far far away bye guys